Dum dum. Okay. <laughs> and there we going. Hello and welcome everyone to another Mine Colonies Let's Play episode. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. And we're here in our little Space Wars developers colony that we were working on in the past weeks. And so we got a bunch of chat gun already, so I'm going to look through it quickly. Hi John, how are you doing? No, it seems most of our colonists are doing fine, unless Wizzy replaced them with clones meanwhile. Hi Ross, hi Dragon Hunter, hi Erevan, hi Ferrowolf, um, hi Portal Apprentice. Um, thanks a lot for the subscription Tinty Tots, your second month already, awesome, thanks for the support. Hi Super Minix, hi Lori, um, hi Andros, hi Greg, and hi Ninja Chipmunk. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit late, I was discussing a few things <laughs> on Discord with people. I got a bit carried away, <laughs> but I'm here now. Um, I'm not sure you all guys got the announcement in our Patreon chat, the ones that are Patreons. We are going to release a 116 pack in the near future. Tomorrow, most likely, we're going to um, release the 116 one version of Mind Conley's publicly. However, we're going to release a mod pack only then when we arrive in 116.2. Because apparently, 116.2 is going to change a bunch of things around the world generation. And I believe that world gen mods are not going to have a lot of fun with it. And to avoid the problems we're currently having on a 115 server, um, we should probably wait before finishing the pack until we got 116.2. And as far as I know, Terraforge people are also waiting for 116.2 to hit. So we could also get the amazing Terraforge world gen together with it as well, which would be pretty awesome. Um, some add-ons also just locked in. Let me check. Yeah, hi. Yes, some add-ons is here. Yes. Okay. We got here everything for the stone mason at, at Fortune. And I'm going to check quickly for Connor. But as far as I know, 116.2 is pretty close to being released, as far as I heard. Oh, only cactus fences for the stone smelter you needed as well. That's... Yeah, my backpack is empty again. So much fun. Oh, I need more than that. Oh, I can hear a... Uh, a wither. Where is the wither and at who is it shooting? At our builder, really? That's a surprise. Didn't die from that shot yet. Oh wow. If you say so. And somehow that guard survived like three or four shots <laughs> of the guest. Decent guard. Um yes, talking about caverns. Um I'm not very happy with the whirly caverns as either. They are confusing as heck, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, so we are potentially not going to go with, uh, we're not going to go with, uh, Whirly's Caverns. However, there is a mod that changes, um, the vanilla mine shafts. So that's potentially what we're going to go with. I think that is 
probably less invasive. Oh yeah, it's that Jung's um, better mind chef. Exactly those, John. I didn't like the better caverns of Jung's, but I wanted to use the mind shafts. What did you say? Did you see how slow our demon is? Is there so much lag? Yeah, we are at like 11 TPS. Oh wow. Time for some... Uh... No spark started yet. Disappointing oh, no, some add-ons. Very disappointing. Building a civil at war. this rate, our citizens are going to take the whole stream to deliver our one stack of items. Just look at them moving. Uh, I could help you with that. Okay. It's like you can. Yeah, I, I see them. They're like in blocks per minute or so. They're moving like shift clicked speed. Yeah, even slower. Um. Like a fortune I here. Faster than any man. Yeah, you've got the delivery of the request system going. <laughs> 90 PS now. Eh, <laughs> uh, what's going on? How much? Nine. 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 <laughs> you still didn't start Spark. I'm. I'm kind of worried. Are you Sam Letters? Is that you? <laughs> Okay, okay. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Spark was just started. I thought you were going to do it since you talked about this. <laughs> what? You're, you're the lord of Spark. Uh, big, get all that wool I had in my inventory back. Oh no, don't tell me that. You know what else was in the backpack? No, what my hammer again. My hammer was in the backpack. Oh, the one from As Awesomeness, who, which was so fast. No, no, that's that's the shovel. That one I still have. But the hammer you made me. Ah, okay. Um. You mean I have to make a new hammer? A guard left, let out the sheep. It wasn't me. That was a guard. Wow, a ton of NTT zombies. 70%. Okay. <laughs> How's the TPS now? <laughs> Is it better? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's at 9. <laughs> I think it, it because the the kill monster uh, doesn't kill mods in the other dimensions. So potentially a bunch of them are in the mining world as well. They're like wait six TPS. I don't know ten, but it yes yeah, Spark doesn't tell me. Oh, I know why. Why? <laughs> it's my fault. Your fault? <laughs> yes. Perfor you messed up performance? I wanted to update performance this morning, but forgot to do it midway and it's just off now. Ow! Performance is not turned on! <laughs> yeah, see? See? That's how it... See? See how important performance is? Yes, yes. Yeah, he, he, he forgot. You you can't see yeah, me, I but I'm doing those. I removed the old one and didn't upload the new one. <laughs> You're seeing me ma uh, me making those symbols in the air. The forgot, the forgot. Yes, yes, exactly those. Just wanted Just us to feel. To feel how it is without. Yes. <laughs> um. I do think performance should help in single pl player worlds as well. Yeah, it does. It should help with not with FPS lag. Um, can help with FPS, but TPS lag, it should definitely help. CPU is. 
kind of when the internal server is maxing out your CPU, it can't really compute frames nicely either. Yeah, but it's it's because those are rendered on a different thread, right? No. Oh, yeah, true. We mm -hmm. bought a render thread with. Rendering is on a different thread. thread. Yeah, but the rendering thread does have the client who takes it. Um, yes, especially if you're like, if you experience lag in a local world, I think it's definitely worth it. And yes, tackle to win. Um, we are going to make the 116.1 release um, for the general public tomorrow. Should I maybe restart also? <laughs> um, did you put performance now? Yeah, I uploaded it again. Yeah, so we probably do a little a short server restart. To fix lag. It's be definitely better than watching our workers lo walk around yeah, in uh, that speed so for the entire time. stream. Yeah. Um, dum -de -dum. Is it here? Okay. So what do I need for a hammer? Sign and gear. Hammer blueprint. What was the best thing for a hammer handle again? No idea. Bone maybe? Or just just check the what's out. The what? The tool what's for the hammer. Bud. Okay, I'll ready to restart. Okay. So let's do a quick restart here. Hi, do Karis, how you're doing? You're having a quick restart because someone forgot, <laughs> forgot um, to install, reinstall performance this morning. So the server is on vanilla Lame. mode, which Lame is Lame not the then. good way you, you, you do vanilla. And that's why the server today was, since then, not on its best side, let's say it like that. Um, yeah. And we do not have a 116 pack yet, Tackle, because we're waiting for 116.2 to be finished. So, as far as I know, Valhalla 3.0 is going to include Mine Colonies as soon as it's released. I was told they're like waiting for it, <laughs> so that's potentially a, a mod pack you could use. Because our one sixteen two mod pack is going to be a completely bare to the bone mod pack. I made a list. I can even I can send show you that list. Let me. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to show the conversation with Wizzy where you see me complaining. <laughs> Um, let me paste the list. Okay, that's basically the list. Um, plus mine colony structurized in view, um, multi tools and performant. <laughs> we need a new emoji for forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's, what, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so around 40 mods, it seems. Uh, it's going to be a very bare to the bones mod pack then. And yeah. potentially we're going to go with a little bit higher difficulty. Then only 115, and we can slow down the difficulty on the 115 server a little bit. So it's we already slowed it down a lot. So the 115 server is difficult at all. Yeah, so we're going we to have um, keep inventory turned on. 
Yeah, that's um, fine. In the overworld, just, but you lose so your stuff in the nether or the end. Big pain. Um, to at least make those blazes a little of a challenge. And... <laughs> Illagers. But they're so easy with a bow. Yeah, Illagers are, are really... God's kiss them pretty, pretty nice. Illagers are really nasty if you have to um, melee them alone. But for guards yeah, or like with a bow, they're super be, easy. Like just a stone sword or so, then they are getting annoying. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I played on a vanilla server once and I had like, even with iron armor and iron sword, they were like super nasty. But... Okay, let's check out the rods. So there's a rough rod. That is bad. There's a long rod. Doesn't say anything. There is a stone rod. That's good for durability in a chain. No, it's bad for durability and bad for enchantability. But good for speed. Iron rod is good for durability. Bad for enchantability. Oh yeah, sli slightly better. Take uh, time. <laughs> there's the. What else do we have here for rods? Um, and the stick is good for enchantability and good for ranged speed. Okay, yeah, an iron rod definitely sounds better. There's a second iron rod. Um, bone. Let's see that. Yeah, also not so good. So I, get, I think we're going to go with the iron rod then. Okay. What else do we need for the hammer then? Here. We need a bunch of things. Oh, there's a, like a bunch of different items, right? So how good is this? Here is relatively good, right? Durability. Can I make armor out of this? Oh wow, I found a funny passing oh. bug. Is there like silent gear armor? Yes. Want, want to see a funny passing bug? Oh, uh, not a bug, but he can pass. Where? Let me check it out. Location. I, I have uh, a bunch of black like diamonds. Our how, how do I make silent gear armor? Oh, that's funny. He can't <laughs> climb over a sitting guy. The sleeping guard, yeah, because of <laughs> the entity collisions. <laughs> oh. Uh, you just make an armor blueprint and then throw any games you want on your armor into the crafting grid. And welcome, it's rockets. Like you cra craft any silent. Yeah, we're yeah. using we're and using stuff. shaders here. Um, what kind of games are like good for? I think usually it's good if you mix different games. At least when I mix like four or five types, I get much better results instead. Um, I guess I can. Diamonds are not bad either, right? Diamonds. What? So we got dead colonists already. Look at this lapis. Meh. I don't don't use lapis. What is this? This here seems to be very good for armor durability. Um, and armor. This is also not so bad for armor. It's 20, that's 18. And welcome I Crash Man as well. Stream. What else? What kind of these games are like good games? Like I know mixing them is kind of good, but 
I feel like randomly mixing is kind of stupid. Yeah, you probably want to miss, mix good ones. Exactly. You, you can click on the... Um, I guess using so tier you. 3 ones is usually a good idea. I'm just doing like randomly picking some out. I'm going to mix them together. And then we're going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. What I was think like for armor, Crimson skin is pretty nice. At least it has high durability. What is nice? Crimson steel. This red iron ingot thing. Ah, I Not think. Sure we have any yes, I think those are good, right? Oh, that was silver. This one here, the that's boron. Which one was the crimson steel? This one here, right? Crimson iron ingot. Let's say crimson yeah. steel as well. Oh yeah, true. That's crimson steel. No, I think there's a crimson steel ingot. How do I make crimson steel? Um, unclear. You smelled crimson iron dust, crimson iron ore, like crimson iron ore. How do you make crimson? Ah, crimson ah, iron it's ingot. Super charging stuff. Plus, and that's then very good, isn't it? Like armor. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I think we got some blaze rods potentially. So I'm going to smell those here. Like 10. Then we check for. Time to sleep. Time to sleep. Wait, let Thanks. me check for some. Here we have blaze rods. I'm sure we have somewhere magma cream as well. It's gonna kind of search for it. I'm sure I haven't heard yet about the beekeeper's hut crashing anything. However, it's not like a very commonly used worker yet, I would say. So I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure either. Um, that would have to be tested. Yeah, yeah, I killed a bunch of magma slimes and then I got the magma cream, you know, and then I put it in my backpack, you know. <laughs> so, uh, did you put stuff in your backpack again? And, and then I went in creative mode and then vanilla happened. <laughs> and that's where the magma cream went. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, now you know. Um, 116 estimate, it depends on how, when 116.2 is going to come out. Um, I think that is maybe another two or three weeks from now, would be my guesstimates, yeah. It says three to four weeks. Or three to so four we weeks. We have to wait for mods to update as well, right? Yes, but you will be able to play it. The one sixteen server is an additional pattern server. It's not a or. It's an end. Yeah. Um, both will run concurrently. We won't turn this one off. I guess with 117 or so, we will turn this one off someday or so. Um, if it crashes the, the world for you, um, Docaris, you should probably make a GitHub issue and then we can look into it. 
I'm going there and try to find some magma. Yeah, man. Yeah, someone died as well. They're mourning. Let me just find a magma chunk somewhere. I timed out. Did the server go boom boom? No, only you, only you went boom boom. Only me went boom boom. Very disappointing. Logging back in then. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I, ch I checked around. I wanted. To, I wanted actually to know if Bedrock is better than Java Edition. You know. In which regard? Like if it's well done. Let's say it like that. Ah. Like if it performs well I mean, and these kinds of things. Couldn't be any worse, right? <laughs> And as far as I know, it's not much better. Like they they have there are some different ways how like a, most chunks don't tick at all, which make it like in general perform better. However, um, it is like still. Entities are bad. Great motor, great. <laughs> um, yeah, don't worry, it's Manuel. It's the same company after all. <laughs> it's the same comp. No, but I think bad wasn't was better created by Mojang or was it created entirely by I'm not sure by Microsoft? Actually. It could be that. Bedrock is done by Microsoft and not Mojang. I'm not sure anymore if the console edition etc. came out after the purchase only. Not the Windows 10 edition was a complete rewrite as well, but I'm not sure if the Windows 10 edition is equal to the console version in terms of code. Yeah. Hi Chef, how are you doing? We're searching some magma. There we go. We've got some magma, magma chunks there. At least Mojang is one of the authors of Bedrock. No, they're definitely authors, but. They it's probably the question is if it's the same developers. Uh, yeah. The same developers, it's for sure not because they don't have. Okay, I could imagine someone being so stupid and getting Java devs to write it in C sharp. <laughs> 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 like I could okay, really okay. imagine a big it's company amazing. doing that. <laughs> I I fully can imagine this. If someone the told me that, I wouldn't doubt it a second. Fit Mojang very well. Yes. <laughs> so um, it, would, maybe. it would be like, you're developers, aren't you? Yeah, but we're Java developers. What's the difference? It's code, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It, it's an object-oriented language, isn't it? It's management, management making decisions. They know code and not code. Exactly, you know, this is stuff with ones and zeros, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Show your stuff. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? No, it's not. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah, we would hire, have to hire people. Hire! Hire <laughs> in this time? Yeah. Management is, is never happy about hiring people. Hiring people permanently. What? You mean you pay them all the time? What? Paying retirement funds? You try to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we in Soviet Russia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the answers you get them. 
The cynicism is strong. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> what cynicism wear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we got some magma cream, and potentially already those here smelted. Yes. Um, here. So it was like this. We got one crimson steel. So we're just going to mix randomly stuff for this hammer. And one of these, and one of these. Ah, I need the hammer thingy as well. To be fair, at least that I get, right? Like, if um, Microsoft buys Skype and everyone at Skype is using uh, Max. I would definitely get uh, the reason to slowly progress to a new system, right? Okay. Um, oh wait, I want a diamond. Why isn't this working? It's supposed to be like this, wasn't it? Hammer. Ah no, it was one more even. So we use one of these. Okay. What do we have? Hard one, Imperial one, Crushing one. Durability 3000. Not even so good. What do, what do we mean we replace those two? Hard, Imperial and Crushing still. Very low attack speed, high harvest speed. Harvest speed is too far. What if we do one of these? Oh, that makes it even better. I have to do it first, like this. Oh. Oh wow, that helped, yes. Does, does the order really matter? Really it does? Yes it does! Oh wow. I didn't know this. Me neither. It was always like, oh nice champions don't need to watch out for anything. So it does not have a shape, but the order matters. Okay. Um, I have one of these. Now oh, it's now. Yeah, yeah, the order really matters. I think when you are having a shapeless recipe, that the order doesn't matter. Okay. Very okay. confusing. But at least we got a nice hammer now. Let's get some sandstone, people. Mm. Doing that as well now. Super hammer incoming. Tiny flames will dance across the darkness. It's still, it's a speed 5.98. My pickaxe is a speed 10. Hmm. Although I think hammer in general is slower than pickaxe. Yeah. Oops, I have to put a bunch of resources in my backpack. <laughs> all the good stuff. Let's put all the good stuff here in the backpack, you see? <laughs> oh yeah, wait, could you just quickly go creative and check something? 
Yeah, yeah, go quickly, creative only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> what? Did you lose this time? Potentially, if I use more crimson steel, it would be faster, even. I don't know. Okay. All crimson I uh, all crimson iron. You made a hammer. Let me try that. How much crimson iron do I have still here? Five. I'm going to try this. Gold tip. Now you tell me that. <laughs> how do I make it gold tip? Uh, tips are upgrades you can craft. Okay, how many uh, tips can I have? Uh, just one, I think. Only one tip. One tip. Okay, that's better than the Tinker stuff where you could have like 10 upgrades and got like extra super mega OP. Although Tinker didn't have that by itself, but all these level up mods did. Yes, it was the level up part of Tinkers, to be fair. Uh, if you played it without the level up mods, it wasn't actually that unbalanced. It was stronger than vanilla, but not very OP. Okay. Forgot, I need one more. Let's use like whatever. How would, would that be in speed? It's the same speed now. If I use that. Yeah, the harvest speed is still the same. Even if I use more of it. So I guess I did fairly fine. But a gold tip might be good. So how do I get a gold tip? You craft a tip upgrade with gold. And the gold ingot. Okay, that's not so difficult. No. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get some gold ingots here quickly. I'm gonna put a gold tip on this. Can I undo a tip? Mm, I think you can add uh, another tip on top. So can add another tip on top. Right. Gold. Gold tip. My hammer. How much would... Oh wow, that would make it very fast. Okay, let, let's see this craziness now. What does a black diamond tip do? It opens a white hole if you mine anything and then you find <laughs> it. <laughs> I think that's a big that No, there is no black diamond tip. There's a lapis tip. That's pretty good, that's luck four. Luck four. It's uh, decent. But there's no diamond. Hi Captain Salt. This mod pack. No, we have a comment for that, don't we? Command. There we go. Okay, let's see. here that's a bit stupid we could go there and do it the, the better way just gotta go upwards and then again just mine like uh, one here one here one here yes stair can just burn through this here. Oh yeah, in the nether with nether rack. Oh yeah, it's lo-fi. Lo-fi is kind of on purpose. A little bit out of tune. <laughs> oh, your parts finally arrived. Oh, that sounds great, Captain. 
That was a long path of suffering, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, when you are just missing one or so. Yeah. Wait for weeks. Um, are you using any particular shaders? Or a new Optifine version, Docaris? Ouch. Oh, my inventory is full of sandstone. I guess it should start smelting some sandstone again as well. Yeah. Oh, we can recruit another citizen. But he does want 60 baked potatoes. What? We could hire a new citizen from our tavern, but he wants 60 baked, baked potatoes. <laughs> and I think we're out of baked potatoes. Think you can spare 60 back potatoes? So is near Ryud. I'm using. I don't know which. I know that there is an Optifine issue at the moment with some shader packs. And? Or like 5000 or so. Um, as far as I know, Night Nightenum is currently looking into it. You should probably go to the Structurize GitHub and report it there. There's already an issue open for that. And there you just report which um, shaders you're using so that uh, Nightenum can look at that in at the week during the weekend. Yes, you can run Optifine with this mod pack and use Zeus shaders. That's what I'm using, and that's working. Okay, I'm burning here through this fairly nicely. I did already mine into one of my our buildings, yes. But I know that here we are out of the building range in this direction. So we are safe. Oh yeah, you could. You should try the newest combination definitely first. There we go. Can we do another line. Oh, that's so nice. You're burning through the sandstone. Could have ne used this before. The golden tip. Oops. Didn't know that either. Does it give so much speed? It doubles the speed basically. Oh, wow. That's OP. <laughs> yeah. See, we should have added, added uh, mob difficulty mod. <laughs> it's way too strong. Way too strong. Um. I, I just ordered uh, 60, uh, 16 uh, gigs of RAM as well, a little bit ago. Um, How much do you have to total then? 32, 32 I'm going to have then. Oh, nice. So that's going to be a decent upgrade as well. I'm still at 10, but I don't really want to upgrade. <laughs> Why? Because if I invest into it, then I'd rather invest into uh, new RAM. I, I got still DDR3. Ah, you one. still got DDR3. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either with yeah, DDR3. Yeah, then i upgrade to a new motherboard, new CPU. New yeah, RAM. then you need to do a whole upgrade, yes. Yeah, I'm already on DDF DDR4. So... But yes, especially since the DDS3 stuff costs the same as DDR4. Exactly, exactly. It's sometimes even like, more. It's right. sometimes even and more expensive. To buy old stuff for the very same money. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I bought that one. This one is, was not even very expensive. It was around around fifty euros. It costs. 
for 116 gig, a gig. Um, so dim, like it's for a mobile, right? So that is not very expensive. I, I remember that I looked into it when I bought the laptop and it was another hundred bucks, so I decided not to get it. But now at 50, that is a reasonable price. So I went I with it. Um, but I think the main thing is going to be because I'm I only have one 16 gigabyte slot at the moment so I'm going to have then the RAM in dual channel mode so that is probably going to be an extra speed up on top of it yeah like not only the additional RAM but the dual channel speed up is going to be neat probably Oh yeah, we need to light things up, but I need to repair my shovel first. Yes, it only starts the colony when you click on the chest and click upgrade. Are we out of anvils? Yes, I broke the last one. I think we had some here. No, we had one here. Great. Oh, we got another. Yes, I'm going to hide it from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have any other. I need to say yes. No, no, there is no other one. Found it. No. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a stone smelt. I think you, we got a, one of the builders building a stone smelter at the moment, don't we? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we got and stone mason. Fortune is working on the stone mason, and she's digging out the things though. Let us check out how Connor is doing on the stone smelter. Also, still digging out. Yeah, I noticed that they even tend to build a hole large enough to not get out anymore. That's great too. I'm going to do my best work. Somewhat grossly overestimating the amount of sandstone he needs. You're currently having. No, I'm going to craft you a shovel. I'm not going to wait ages for the shovel. Yeah, those visitor dyings is did you fix that in the last version by the way? Men gotta mm, do I what think men yes. Gotta do. Work, work. I'm not entirely sure. But I added the death calls to the message message as well. Ah, okay, that's good. I think it is because of uh, stack teleporting into half a wall like they didn't ah. teleport into the center of the block ah the stack teleporting might not use the center of the block yeah let me go to the town hall uh, to the warehouse and I'm going to set up some minimum stock for tools oh that's a good idea so we don't have to wait for that always uh, minimum stock here add we want a stone shovel yeah true we got the blacksmith and only have you like add uh, five minimum stock for guard armor as well okay like one set also so we want a pickaxe as well stone pickaxe also so around five always Um, stone and sh you want the armor as well at, at least shields we should have I would say storage armor as well maybe a bit chain mail like three two is fine I guess 
chainmail helmet. Yeah, but right, I know that the uh, issue you have is Optifine related, but right in the GitHub issue, the shaders you're using. Because then, um, then I can reproduce the issue. Then we can reproduce the issue. Or we, um, Nightingham, can reproduce the issue. We're lucky to have them, so we don't have to deal with Optifine ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Basically. Okay, that is a good minimum level. stock. <laughs> but I think he's the one who now is rendering the most of us are. Of yeah, of he's, he's pretty good at rendering in general. Axis, uh, too late. <laughs> Axis would have would have been a good idea. That's true, but it's too late. So let's mine a little bit more here through this. So there we go. Um. Talking about features, we currently have some some nice things that are going to become in the future. You guys might have seen it already, but we're going to have that the um, crafter workers are going to have a chance to discover better recipes. Ouch. And that kinda means that they're going to be able like to find a way to make make items with less items than vanilla stipulates to it, and that one is going to be done as well in a modular way, such that you will be able to configure it in a mod pack to do it with all kinds of modded items too, such that, for example, that the sawmill. When the sawmill makes a lot of different stairs all the time, uh, a lot of stairs all the time, there is a chance, depending on the level of the worker, to find a more efficient way to make stairs. Touch out, Captain Salt. So basically. Um, the baker, we are going to rework the baker probably as well, yes. The baker is going to become a crafter as well. Uh, however, the baker is going to get some special recipes, let's say, like this. So instead of having the paper continue being like very vanilla-like, we're going to add like four or five special bread recipes um, that allow him to be much more useful for your colony so kind of the idea for it is to have something like okay we have honey bread like sweet bread and that is going to give you saturation effect plus it re re removes poisoning Plus, it gives you another effect. Um, it gives you two hearts on top of it. Or, um, I thought about having like chorus bread, plus like eight weed, uh, wheat, <laughs> and one chorus, and it makes chorus bread, and on eating, it teleports you to the surface. Uh, which I think is a nice mechanic in making it worker only. Nice way to do it as well. Okay, we're full of inventory. Here, great. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, um, the other thing was... Oh, wow. What happened here? I just went away three seconds. And three mobs spawned here. Um, the other one was milk bread that works like milk plus bread. But it kind of has this removing all status effects thing. But it's stackable, so that's fairly useful as well. What was the last one? I don't remember, I think there was another one. But. But the milk one is really nice. But basically, that's the idea to make the baker really a worker you want to have to get those special recipes. So maybe have like five special recipes and one recipe is unlocked per level. Which is I think pretty neat. Dum -de -dum. Huh. My crimson hammer broke again. <laughs> Lambas that yeah that could be an idea as well a bread that fills your whole saturation bar in one in one go and there are a lot of things we can do with this yeah does, does our farmer not build any, any carrots I don't know, we have to... Uh, do we have any carrots? At least our warehouse and Hina does not, so... I think I set carrots, okay. but I didn't plant them on his field yet. So I think he doesn't have any carrots. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Elvin, uh, Elvin bread is vegan, so yeah. Gotta be vegan then as well. Can't add honey either then, so it's carrots, beets, potatoes, wheat, um, what else is there in terms of food? But when it's vegan bread, you have to um, sell it for double the price. <laughs> because we bread what? isn't like 90% vegan anyways, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got it, yeah. Because you put vegan on it, you need to put increased. Who, who, what? I saw this somewhere. They were selling like vegan rice, and it was <laughs> two euros <Okay>. a kilo. <laughs> yeah. So you like to put vegan just on random stuff, which is vegan anyways, and sell it for more. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. It's like I bet it works with people. You, you know, cap capitalism people. working as intended. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of this. Get rid of some of those gems I'm collected. I want to get rid of all oh, those soul thingies. Bother me as well a lot. Yeah, just just delete them. I don't know what they are used for. Okay. Magma cream we don't have any place for yet. Now we got it. Um, and those rods. I guess I can carry them around for a bit. Now I got a full backpack of sandstone. Where do I have to go to turn on game mode 1? <laughs> uh. Pair this. Okay. Why is there a demon in your mining area? Yeah, it's it's always like that. You put you make something seem fancy, and people pay three times the price for it. Not wanting to offend anyone, but that's literally the only reason 
how Apple makes money. <laughs> yeah. They put a rotten apple symbol on stuff and then it's worth more. Yep. You, you gotta make it white, kinda. Maybe it works with all rotten stuff. We should try that. Uh, maybe, maybe we make mine colonies, we, we, may, we write it white and we make all the buildings white and put um, root symbols on them. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can mm -hmm. get people mm -hmm. to use it more. Yeah. I guess that will work. Okay, I made some space. That one is almost finished. And I know the other builder is almost finished clearing too. Just now you gotta make way down for the builder to come up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and it's done. We can research our uh, crusher. Oh, yeah, we can finally research the crusher. We also need a sifter, yeah. We have a sandstorm chain in our phone. Yeah. We also need a sifter, yeah. It didn't take long at all. Maybe we should, should change that a bit or so. Like the first sandstorm colony and. Oh, by the way, we didn't have anyone yeah. working here. Was about to say that as well. So, <laughs> Hi, like, May. Research frame. May a bus. But the sawmill was never researched. Uh, what else do we have running at the moment? I don't think we have. Mini armor. Any compass? Ah, mini armor. Okay. Let me see if I get got any compost for my post box. Guess not. No, you can't say that. I just say it. Don't get kicked. Um. What else? What? Where's my post box? Ah, there it's here. Oh yeah, I got twenty-four compost. So, I'm going to do another compost request for 32, put it here. Exactly, swearing in any language is still swearing. And Lima, thanks for the subscription, for the Prime subscription, it's highly appreciated. Come on, we're on the internet. Everyone knows the most common swear words in every other language. Not really. You don't. Mm, no. How do I make this armor stuff? But I know how to use Google Translate, so... <laughs> Let me check that out. Do we have some... Oh yeah, Wizzy actually made the armor ones here. Oh, nice. So again, I think it's again time to just randomly take some gems. I, I think the South German uh, insults are the most wholesome German insults there are. And we, we call um, people a Dachshund. Like a Dachl. And literally the worst insult for a South German is calling someone a Halbdachl. That's something like half a German Dachshund. That is... One of the worst things you can say to a South German. <laughs> I 
I never heard that either. You didn't know that. No. You sound Germans are weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half a sausage dog, exactly. That don't say that to a South German. That is a bad insult. Don't be impolite. But if you are North German or so, you can say it also what no one understands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you say it to a North German, they're going to be like, what? What? Did you say something? Um, we also have something um, which is called a segel. I don't think you... Do you know what this means? Or have you heard at segel. least? Yeah, I hear that one. That one is super common as well in South Germany. What kind of things do I want on my armor? Uh, shiny things. Shiny things? Everything is so shiny. Shiny is the best things. <laughs> I'm going to go with those here. It's sparkling. I think I'm going to go with these here. What does iron? Uh, iron does this. Uh, that's silver. Iron does this magnetic stuff, right? I don't want that. Talking about iron, where did my ah? Uh, where did my iron go? I dumped it together here. Um, dum de dum. Malleable counters brittle. What is brittle? <laughs> Teach me. I what is brittle? Well, brittle was like it's bad or so. Like randomly takes extra damage and such. It's bad. Breaks yeah. faster. That is also brittle. Okay, I have to find different ones. But I mean, I got usually a lot of durability, so it doesn't matter much. I guess I want to put like glowstone on my helmet. I think that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> what is this here? Does that work? I don't know. I think so. This is oh, nice. It will flow. That could be nice. How much is this? That's quite rare. Dark set. It's also brittle. So I'm not supposed oh. to put it. That's For also brittle. Uh, For armor, I made me an. Um, what is it called? Ayo light armor. Because it gives you uh, speed and jump boost set. Which? How is it called? Iolite. Iolita. How how do it does it look? Uh, pink. Layla. Io. Light. This one here. It has it has stellar. That makes you speed. Yeah, it gives me movement speed and jump, jump height. How how many did you put into it? Uh, I made my whole armor from it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Stella three on my armor. What chaos iron? Chaos dust. Chaos iron. And how do I create then this of it? Smelting it? Okay. This here is good. Seems good. I'm going to make a few of those then. <laughs> oh, we have 14 people still. Huh? We are still 14, pe 14 people online. It's quite a lot still. Okay. And the server isn't new anymore. Chaos dust. 
And then I gotta make iron out of it. Tails iron. So I'm making a piece of those for each as well. So let's see how, let's see how this random me shoveling stuff together is going to work out. <laughs> It's kind of it's one of the things I liked of tin tinkers. It was let less random shuffling stuff together. It was more like yeah, predictable put, because it used like vanilla what stuff. Wanted. It was neat. Like you take X of this, so you get the trade and add an of that. E exactly get because having trade. like those t twenty thousand gems. It's very difficult to see it. Yeah. So okay. We went a bit overboard with the amount of gems. Yeah. Um, then let's craft our armor. And then we're going to get a bow as well. Get a bit. Okay, we need this. We want to put one of these. Let's put two of that. Two of these. And two of that. We get which one do we want first? Crimson? Let's make them crimson, okay? Very nice. Um the next one is the chest. So we would What is this here? Armor toughness twenty. That was a make one of these. Okay, let's start with that. Put two of these. And this was brittle, that one we don't want. Um, two of these. And three of these. Like this? Okay. Chaos iron chest plate. Okay. Got this. Now the helmet. Want one glowstone dust. Crimson iron. One chaos. One of this. And one of this. Not enough. Another one of. No. Okay, apparently glowstone dust doesn't work. Oh. Another one of this. Okay. And last but not least, the shoes. One of this. One of this. Okay. I got. There we go. Dumping my old stuff in here. Now we need a bow. Oh wow, that that is quite the shampooist for sure. Speed boost is quite neat as well. Yeah, doesn't take so long to walk around anymore. Okay. Um, just let me store my iron quickly so I don't dump it by accident when I dump back the gems. Um, I have more. I want to double click, wasn't it? Yes. Now for a bow. I think there were like some things that give like range tag bonuses, wasn't it? Mm, guess so. Attack speed. Ranged attack damage. Crimson iron gives twice the ranged attack damage. So let's... Those seem like a good candidate. Did you lose your boat too? Or just making a new one? No, just making a new one. Seems good as well. Oh wow, Aquamarine gives three times the attack damage. Tensonite as well. Emetrite as well. Oh wow, Alexandrite makes it times four. And times zero point. Is that an improvement or does it make it worse? 
<laughs> I'm kind of wondering. Do you guys know that? Does something zero point make it worse or better? Because there's also minus zero point, which kind of makes it really confusing. I think Alexandrite is pretty good. Yeah, Alexandrite seemed pretty good, yes. At least I got that on my bow from awesomeness and I think he knew what he was doing. How is Kairos iron? It's time is 1.5 and 0 0.3 ranged speed, which I'm still not sure if it makes it worse or better. It's really confusing. Are there a bunch of chaos somethings? Silent gems. Chaos silver. Um. So this here seems pretty good. Times zero, some zero point four. So this here is not even so good. Um, harvest level, what else is good? For, for a bow. Like critical is probably good. Yeah, I guess so. So maybe this here is good because it has critical. I have no idea what I'm doing here. A lucky bow? I don't think so. Silky bow? I don't think so. ED. Fury? Is Fury good? Maybe. I guess it makes... You are able to set up other entities on fire. Maybe I put one fury into it. I want a positive range speed, yes. But those all of them I guess positive means quicker, even though it's probably stupidly worded. Um, that one is pretty good at 0 0.2 range speed. Let's check another one it's 0 0.3 range speed um, 0 0.3 as well chilled I don't know Rain speed. Let's take a little bit of this as well. Oh, chilled. That sounds good. Then it makes oh, yeah. much slower. Should be useful. Oh, where was chilled again now? Chilled here. Okay, let's take two of this. Where do you get chilled from? Turquoise. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't have chilled. I want chilled. <laughs> um, so I need a bow thingy here. And then just put them in here, I guess. Oh, it's only three together. So what would that have in stats? 0 0.12, four times range attack damage. How much does yours have? Uh, range attack damage? Yes. 16. 16? 16 times. How do you do this? Uh, not sure. Does it have a tip? It is red stone coated, it says. I guess it is a tip. 
I need string. Let me get some string. It's, it's made from blaze rod, length and reed, gilded bowstring, and redstone coated. String. A blaze rod I need. Let me see if we have some blaze rods somewhere still. Not sure what it does, but mine has it. Blaze. Three string, okay. And blaze rod. Let's see if we find that. Didn't we have like here? Blaze. No. Oh. oh, okay. Let's see if we have in the other one still a blaze rod left. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh. Here. Great. So again, what did you have? Blaze rod. Alexandrite. Blaze yes. rod, gilded bowstring, and redstone coated. Gild, gilded, gilded string. Gilded bowstring. Yeah. But I, I don't even know how you can craft it. And Jay, I doesn't show it either. Gold nuggets. Probably from Gilded String. Guess so. Um. Okay. So do like this. Wait. That gives me plain bow string. This gives me gilded string. Um, let's see if that how that plays out. And there's like a string blue sheet. Okay. String. Oh, I'm crashing. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, Forge did it again. Oops, I did it again. Great Forge, great. Great. It's not it's not like Minecraft loads long or so. Yeah. No, it was one crash in the session plus one's the restart because of some add-ons. That was not Forge, that was some add-ons. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was faster than uh Client restart. That was faster than a client restart. I have to give him that. That's true. It only took like two months or so for complaining at Forge to even acknowledge it is bug. Or even longer. And the funny thing is that Lex always said we can't put a concurrent map there because it's horrible and it would break it would be super slow it is slower but i mean how often are you looking up stuff there? and no often. and then like cpw went there once profiled it it was like five percent slower and it's like okay let's go with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good night fairy wolf so greg you said there is a string blue thingy as well to make this blue bow string so this gilded bow string um in uh, what is the name of this mod um silent game gilded bow No, not this one. Hmm. Our, our uh, entity experience uh, jumps in me. Seems to lack a bit. Yeah. There seems to be no wiki for this kind of thing. You're serious? 
There's not even a wiki for silent games. Yeah, they were super lazy. They went total developer mode for expanding it. That's really lazy. No wiki, no, no in-game guide. Not no even anything. a wiki. We got at least a wiki. Yeah. We acknowledge that Mine Colony is, is not easy to get. They don't even have a wiki. How lazy is that? Come on. Very lazy. Especially for such a tool mod with a lot of different materials and stuff. Yeah. It would be very nice to look up. Yeah, we do know that there is a, a li uh, there are life maps for worlds. We used to have one, but they usually cause a lot of lag because they check all the time the player positions and these kinds of things. They have a wiki on CurseForge. Wiki. Oh yeah, that is not very useful here. It goes to their GitHub wiki. <laughs> and that GitHub wiki has nothing about bowstring. It has something about Chaos or but it's always all very it seems more like for developers than anything else. Yeah, I found that one too. Didn't seem very useful. And silent gear wiki. Let's see. Um, builded string. Also nothing. It's a mystery, right? <laughs> oh. Still is here. Um. Okay, we're started up. Gotta log in now. It's also a matter hours only. Hours, yeah. Um, so logging in. Fourteen people online, that's a decent quantity. Kinda have a feeling that Did you die again? No, I'm logging in. A lot of posts saying that Silent Games is OP. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think some of the stuff it does scales up way too high. Like the ba basic tools and such are fine, but stuff like gold tips is like very OP. Okay, let's add things randomly to it here. We're going to see if it plays out. Oh. Bo 
Ah, there's a bowstring blueprint. Okay. Do we have this here? Bowstring... We don't have the bowstring blueprint here. Yeah, potentially you can make uh, blue dye and paper. Okay, let's get some paper quickly. And blue dye we have a bunch of. Yeah, but where do I find the, the spreadsheet? That's the question. I couldn't find the, the, the spreadsheet for it. Um, oh, no video. Sorry. There, we're back on video. Sorry, it was my fault. Okay, um, blue dye. Black spike. One, two. Okay. So. Ah, there is a co there is a command for it. Now I got it. Okay. So. A command for what? There is a command to print out a spreadsheet apart apparently. Uh -huh. Okay, I need three string yet to That's make that pretty hidden hidden documentation. Good night, Greg. See ya. Here. Dum -de -dum. Okay. It's kind of weird. You make a command to output a spreadsheet. Why don't you upload it somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Gilded bowstring. Now we got it. And then... Alexandrite. Ah, uh, wait. I think it is like this. And I gotta add to it. And then it's like the bow limbs. And then I have to add them together slowly, I believe. Okay, I think I'm slowly getting this. Okay, I got the bow limbs. And now I got the bow. So that's 9.37 the damage and 1.03 the speed. Okay. Stump the stuff in here. And, uh, although it doesn't have infinity. How do I get infinity on this now? Uh, you can enchant some, some normally. Ah, it you needs need a normal enchantment now. Okay. Yeah. You need power 5 as well. Mm. But we got some disenchanting mods so you could disable your old bow. Enchantment token? Now you're just confusing me. What is an enchantment token? Uh, it's a silent gear item for adding specific enchants. How do we create it? Token I enchanting. So. I think those were craftable somehow. It has a token enchanting enchanter. You create a blank token. And you yeah, use like blaze really powder cool. and something together okay that that is too much I'm going to use enchantment 
This is now getting very confusing. I didn't want to dive so deep in this mod. So let's let's go in the nether a little bit. Get some some levels. And then do we have, do I want to do this now? Actually don't want to really. Yeah. Do we have any enchantment books or so hanging around? Mm, maybe some. Not sure. Maybe did the How is the disenchantment mod? Disenchanter. Okay. And it puts out the book. Okay, obsidian enchantment table, more obsidian diamond and book. Um I would say that's something for the next episode. I build faster than any man. Okay, you got a pickaxe and delivery fortune. It's great. I do think that um, the minimum stock option probably got a bunch of tools for our warehouse that should make our workers tad faster. I also got one on the list for delivery. Let's check out our stock in the warehouse in that regard. Stone. Yeah, five stone pickaxes and two shovels. So, whatever you can say, but the blacksmith is working and is doing a great job. And four axes. Ah, you requested axes as well? Nice. No, I didn't. <laughs> ah, you didn't? <laughs> I did, I did dump once a bunch of them. Yeah, I think I put some to one day. Uh, potentially I'm going to dump a bunch of that sandstone. Good idea. Dum -de -dum. Gold nuggets, paper, papers, a bunch more. We have too much of this. Oh great, we got 3k granite. <laughs> Good that we can make cobblestone out of it. Yeah, once we get our crusher set up. Yeah. No, 3.5k diorite. <laughs> No, we have a recipe for that. Yeah, I know, but we want sandstone from it. Ah, yes, yes, but uh, we can make the stone mason created from cobble, I guess. And then it goes to the crusher to crush it. Okay. So that is already a deep, halfway decent bow. See, we got here some compost to be delivered from the warehouse as well. Only our demon are currently doing whatever. Slacking off. Slacking. They are always slacking off. Ow. Okay. How many do we have? Yeah, we have three of them. Oh. But we have the, th the buildings are partially quite far away. Yeah. And we got some waypoints leading them to first pass as well. Yeah. Like the barracks has a waypoint in front and they always go I'm through the barracks. My best work today, then. Let's see if our composter got in. At least it's they seem you? to be getting the stuff from the composter all the time. And the composter always has a full compost bin. So I guess they yeah. are doing their jobs. After all, we probably can add some rails to make them faster. 
Oh yeah, but they, we need the rails research, that is definitely. Yeah. Mm. And it costs a lot of iron. Yeah, we'll just check out for some mine shafts and mine through them to get the... Oh, we don't have mine shafts, do we? Mm, we should have some, but didn't see any lately. I haven't seen any yet. I'm unsure if that Whirly's Caves replaces them. No, it doesn't. No? There should be a bunch then. Unless Terra, Terra Forge replaces them. No, Terra Forge doesn't do anything in this regard as far as I know. Yes, I really should have some. Pop into spectator mode. Yeah, we can do that quickly. Check. But first I put yeah, my backpack yeah. away. <laughs> so you did learn. <laughs> Let's nice. see. There are a lot of big caves under here yet. But nothing here looks like mine shafty. Besides the mine shafts the miner makes. None of these look like mine shafts. Or oh, this here, does this look like? There's some of these orc caves. Nothing of this looks like a mine shaft to me. Only yeah, our strip mines. We got a stronghold. Yeah, we got a stronghold here. That one Wizzy Maybe found that's already. Why we don't have a mineshaft here. Are there no strongholds next to mineshafts? Uh, I guess the uh, structures avoid each other to not run into problems. Hmm. Big rooms here. And nothing looks like a mineshaft. And those are usually fairly common when you go like this. Eh. Here we got the stronghold. Go over the crown as well. Give a last look to the colony. And then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow again. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for bearing with me again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. Got a few things done, but mainly for spending some time on restarting a bunch of chatting. Um, I think mm -hmm. both builders are currently finishing those huge pits. So that's yeah, why it it's took quite long. For it. So that took a relatively long time. Um, I think we should build a way out for Jackson here. Else the builder is going to place a block inside of him um, but those pits seem to be fairly ready now maybe another layer or so that's why it's taking a while um, but then the upgrade should be fairly quick again always the level one of the space war styles usually takes a while but then the upgrades are a little bit faster than usual besides the university um, Turn in survival mode, get back our backpack. I can check in the into this um, mesa biome. That's what be a potential way to do it. I phantoms again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. Um thanks everyone for tuning in. If you want to support our mod development, you can become a Patreon. Which will get you access to this neat little server here. As well as some other benefits. I hope you're enjoying our mod and development progress as well as our streaming series. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow then. Ciao ciao and good night everyone. See ya.